Before you start playing the violin, you need to check that it's set up correctly. I'm going to talk you through all the different parts of the instrument so that you know what's what, and so that you can be sure that your violin is ready to play. These are the strings, and they're connected to the violin here on what's called the tailpiece, and here at the pegs. We use the pegs to wind the strings into place, and to create tension in the strings themselves. The tightness of the strings affects how they vibrate once we set them in motion, which in turn affects the frequency or the pitch of the sound that each string creates. The bridge here supports the strings when they are tense, and therefore it's extremely important to make sure that it's standing vertically on the body of the instrument. If it's leaning too far forward or too far back, this can become dangerous both for the violin and potentially for you if the bridge were to fall over and snap. So check out our other videos if you need help with this topic. It's important to make sure that the violin has been set up properly before you start to play. If you bought your violin from a shop, they should have set it up for you already, but if it's arrived by mail order or somebody has sent it to you, here are a few things that you need to be aware of. Occasionally you might find that the strings and the bridge have not yet been set up. This sometimes happens when a new violin is sent by mail directly from a manufacturer or a violin making workshop in another country. Setting up strings and the bridge is quite hard to do, especially for the first time. So do seek professional guidance if you can. If that's not possible, contact our learning advisory team for help and we'll advise you about the best thing to do. Similarly, the pegs and the strings should already be set up when you get your instrument, but if they're not, or if one is broken, then you may need to install or replace the strings yourself. This is a fiddly job, so be sure to watch the other videos in our video library first, so that you know exactly what to do. Always remember, if in doubt, just ask the violin school learning advisors for help, or seek professional advice from the music shop, or from a specialist violin repairer. Another thing to check is whether the fine tuners are set up correctly on your instrument. Not all violins have fine tuners, particularly on more expensive instruments, when violinists will often tune their strings using just the pegs. But when you're starting out, we strongly recommend having a fine tuner on each string like this, as they're simply much easier to use than pegs, especially for small adjustments in pitch. In an upcoming video, I'll show you how to change the pitch of the strings to make sure they sound at the correct frequency. But for now, just check that the fine tuners are installed on your instrument and that they turn smoothly. This is the chin rest of the violin, which is where your jaw rests while you play. You should receive a chin rest along with your violin when you buy it, but do make sure that the shape is comfortable for you. If not, it's possible to buy a different shape chin rest that's better suited to the shape of your jaw. The other important accessory that you'll need to consider is a shoulder rest. Shoulder rests clip onto the back of a violin and create extra support between the violin and your shoulder. There are lots of different types of shoulder rest and you may need to experiment with different models until you find one that's just right for you. If you need any further help to get set up with the right violin, bow or shoulder rest, then remember you can get in touch with our learning advisors at any time and we'll be pleased to help.